What's up gamers and welcome to Swooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
because I, I don't want to censor everything. So enjoy the black screen. You can blame Zack is whacked or Zack is too whacked. It's their fault. Blame them. It's not me. Don't actually blame them because I'll get in a lot of trouble and feel like a total jackass if someone goes after someone on the internet because they decided to play a stand in the game. Thanks in advance. Okay, but seriously, come on. Why? Why are you gonna do this to me? No, he's gonna do it. Ah, there's the black screen again. Sorry. Stop. F off. I've lost almost half my health to clones. Why can't I hit him? Oh, black screen. Enjoy the black. You can't see. I'm aware. It's by design, all right? You can't see on purpose. I missed. That means he's gonna use the, yep. Can you like just die? Yeah, 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 that's what I needed. Yeah, do that. Yeah, and then die, right here. Pretty please? Pretty please with a cherry on top? No, not again! Oh, come on! It takes so long to deal with this nonsense. You're saying why? You can't even see that because I had to freaking black the screen again because he sent another goddamn victim clone. I hate you. Yeah. Thank you! Finally! Oh my god! Take three, four, I, I don't know at this point. All I'm gonna tell you is uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way as fast as I can before I get distracted by some stupidity this guy pulls. Like that! Why are you distracted? You start the game with a road roller? And the barrage? What? Who are you? Oh, you madman! Anyways, Paragon basically said, you know, maybe you shouldn't be able to be permanently fast because uh, a lot of stands have literally no way of catching you and so you can just permanently run circles around people. And maybe being able to permanently run circles around people isn't exactly super well balanced. And uh, people lost their minds because they're stupid. I've seen a whole lot of Made in Heaven's already not that good, why nerf it some more, which I thought we've been over already. I made a whole video about Made in Heaven being one of the best stands in the game, definitely a top tier, and yet we're still here. The only reason Made in Heaven isn't the best stand in the game is because Time Stop exists. If Time Stop didn't exist, Made in Heaven would be the best. It wouldn't even be really that close. And, you know, the thing that really rubs me the wrong way at the end of the day is that Made in Heaven in of itself is a really good stand. Like, this stand is very strong. Yay! So, of course he's dead before I can finish. This is it. I'm gonna finish my thought this time, I promise. Yeah, yeah, don't load in, that'll give me a chance. People think that Made in Heaven is not good enough and that it needs its permanent speed. But the kit of Made in Heaven clearly demonstrates that you definitely do not need the speed all the time. It's not like the stand can't hold its own. It has knives with like a zero second cooldown, a move that's a basically guaranteed knockdown or block break with bleed, and a move that, while you pretty much need a block break in order to get, does a boatload of damage. And a bunch of those moves knock down enough that once you get your speed back, you're able to just use it without any chance of getting cancelled. So... Where are the problems here? I don't understand. How are people... I feel like people would just get outraged over anything. They will literally be upset with he has the one knife upgrade. He doesn't, he doesn't, see this is why I needed to, this is why I needed to finish the thought before he actually got in the game. This guy has one knife unlocked. The world is not an expensive skill tree. How do you only have one knife? Sometimes the people that play this game absolutely just boggle my mind. You're gonna get barraged again. Is he gonna quit out? Because I, I feel like he's gonna quit out. He just stood perfectly still. Oh, never mind. He's talking about how he wanted his, uh, his Two quest. I need Two! Give me Two! I need it! I can't even play the game, but I need it! You know, if there's one small travesty with the trading being introduced into this game, it's that people like this will be able to get the world over heaven from their friends without having to go through the 1v1. Thankfully, I still see people in the 1v1s trying to get the world over heaven, and that warms my heart knowing that it's gonna take them forever and they won't just trade from someone else. You know, I think I've talked before about how the World Over Heaven quest is kind of obnoxious, but you gotta give it a little bit of credit. 
at least the developers were able to make it so that the World Over Heaven quest, you go into every single game mode in order to do it. And that's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. It's cool to have the game modes that normally otherwise some people would never play actually have no choice but to be played in order to unlock one of the better stands in the game. I think that's just a genuinely fun decision that they made. Not very often that I say that about this game, huh? But seriously, I mean, I like would never play Steel Ball Run unless I absolutely had to. And being forced to play Steel Ball Run, while it sucks at the time, actually getting a chance to play that game mode, not too bad. It also helps with community since Steel Ball Run is so difficult uh, by yourself. And so you basically have to get a gang if you want to have any I don't have my move. You basically have to get a gang or a group of friends together if you want any chance of being able to win the Steel Ball Run. Or you have to try to work together with randoms, but if you're trying to do that, you're probably a psychopath. Like, come on. You gotta be at your mind to try to work with randoms. <laughs> you gotta be at your mind. This guy is like learning. I think he's catching on. Never mind. No, he's not. He, he's not catching on. I thought he might have been. I retract the statement. He wasn't catching on at all. But like, are you gonna? T are you looking at this? You're gonna tell me that this is bad. Like, you, ca you can't endure the, like, 10 seconds it would take or however long they decide to make it take. You can't endure that amount of time with this kit in order to get your speed back. If you can't handle it without the speed, you can't handle it with the speed. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you fool. Yep. Uh, that was the wrong option. Oh, my God. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he got butchered. Oh, uh, block breaks for days. He wasn't expecting that. He thought I would do the, the uh, Heaven's Judgment. Well, anyways, that's the end of Slow. It was a bit of a cluster f***, but uh, I think I got the point across. Guys, it's not the end of the world if Maiden Heaven's actually balanced. It's not the end of the world if stands that don't have time stop might actually have a chance against it for a small part of the match. And... Even then, it's tool set without speeds really goddamn good. So, if you're complaining about this, come on, man. Anyways, that's all for today. As I always say at the end of these videos, if you enjoy them, please, for the love of God, go down and activate notifications as well as like and subscribe, because otherwise you probably won't get notified when I post things because YouTube doesn't like me. With that being said, though, I'm done here, so have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.